We're going to make these into some plaits. Y'all know what a plait is. It's the uh, ASAP Rocky Cream. I just love it. I love it. So first, of course, leave-in conditioner. That's gonna be for our styling, our twisting, keeping things nice and juicy. We got our styling cream, of course. Of course, water, gotta refresh mid way. And then we have our Demon brush, rat tail comb, wide tooth comb, and then a brush for the kitchen. And of course, hair ties to separate. It's gonna be super simple, guys. This braid out usually takes me like 30 minutes on a good day, 40 minutes on a quarantine bad day, but it's gonna be super simple. Let's get into it. So for me, I think that one really, really crucial part of a braid out or just any style when it comes to styling natural hair is just about parting because parting does a lot with how your hair lays down. So with me, I like to do certain sections a little thicker and thinner just because of how my hair naturally lays. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Too Soft Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so my hair, like I said, is kind of dense, so I don't really go off of dime size products. I go off of saturating my hair. So. Just gonna do that, comb that through. Okay guys, this is imperative. When you are parting your hair into those sections, make sure, please make sure that you are smoothing your hair as you braid it. Smoothing your hair as you braid it. So you see I'm smoothing it and braiding it down. Smoothing my hair and braiding it down. Maybe one more dab of the styling cream. And that's just more so for the ends. You wanna make sure like a key to a good braid out is to not have crunchy ends. And I know that's what we're used to from middle school and high school, but this is a new era. The cream helps so much with just smoothing like the ends of your hair. Bam. It's giving color purple, but we will digress. So my hair kind of gets, I don't know what it is, but the middle of my hair seems to be the thickest parts of my hair. And that's when I learned this brush technique. This is how I used to get our, our, our bobos <laughs> and our hair ties so smooth. You have to brush the roots. <laughs> that's how you do it. You gotta brush the root. Always brush the root. Rule one on one. It's crazy, a big part of this braid out process for me was detangling, but I love how this leave-in has like cut down my detangling time. That matters so much, cause I be wanting to sleep. Don't even worry about the BDBs. Don't even, don't even worry about the, the front. It's just, these are our type of baby hairs. I like to call them fuzzy edges. It's very trendsetting. This is the first time. <laughs> this will be a first time hearing about this. This is my chunky braid out. I'm using my friends over at 4C only, of course. Usually at nighttime, I usually sleep with a silk scarf and just like, just, just to lay the braids down and to protect the ends of everything. Um, but also I sleep like a toddler, so I also like to keep these hair ties. Well, if you guys are really big into stretching your hair or anything like that, you can also use this to stretch your hair. But I use this just to keep my braids in place or I use bobby pins. Okay, cool. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna do this takedown of this chunky braid out that I just did. Um, you'll only need a wide tooth comb and then any oil of your choice. I like to put the oil on my hands just to make it easy to separate. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Okay, guys, wanna make sure those fingers are oiled because you do not want to mess up the shape that we are going for. So I like to let my braid outs naturally expand so I don't pick super crazy. Yeah, so this is before blowing it out. Uh, this is my 4C only braid out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I love it, it's so soft. Okay, gotta make sure I like my baby hair. But yes, it's so soft, so fluffy. 
I just, I love it. I can't wait to see how it looks later. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys think and just any tips that you guys might have for me. Um, of course, <laughs> my hair, like I said, is very wild. She has her own personality. So yeah, I just, I love it.